The largest strikes for over a generation took place today, with over 300,000 Scottish public service workers striking over the government's proposed cuts to pensions. Most of the country's schools are closed and thousands of hospital operations have been cancelled. In Glasgow, there was picket lines across hospitals and government buildings ahead of a mass rally in George Square this afternoon. Members of the PCS union picketed outside the Ministry of Defence offices. The branch communication officer, Dougie Brownlee, highlighted the scale of the strikes across the country. Absolutely brilliant response. Uh, speaking to colleagues at, here at Kennegan House in Glasgow, at Faz Lane, at Coolport, at Beef, across the MOD sites in Scotland, absolutely brilliant response. Uh, I think we've been here for approximately four hours today and we've had one single member who's crossed the picket line. So I've heard from MOD sites uh, throughout the UK today, uh, the Abbey Wood site down at Bristol, there's been gridlock there because our members have been there stopping uh, every single car that goes in and, and explaining the situation to them. Full support there, down at Cosford in the Midlands. There's approximately 60 pickets uh, on duty there, out, out at Leckenfield in Humberside. Again, about 40 pickets there. Uh, no members have crossed the picket line. Uh, we estimate in the Ministry of Defence approximately 14, 15,000 members. Uh, 90, 95% of members have taken action today. Uh, people were already angry enough, members were already angry enough with the, the, the threat to their pensions and the, the attack on their pensions. Uh, compounding that with offering a 1% a, a pay rise over two years when inflation is at 5, 5.5%, it's just added very much to the anger, along with another 200,000 threatened job cuts when we're already facing. In the Ministry of Defence, we face 33,000 civilian job cuts. Uh, it's just really, really scary and it's, it's really upset people. There may, well, there may well have to be further action. Hopefully the government will come back to the, the negotiating table. We want a negotiated uh, settlement, we don't want to be standing here. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the government's taken their stance and we've got to respond to that and take action. And if we need to take action, we will do.